Okay, I'm going to go over how to set up the uh, roll and pitch settings for the camera uh, gimbal on the KK2 board. I basically just have um, a couple poles set up at um, a level heights so that I can uh, switch between um, pitch and roll. Um, you can actually just do this easier just by having somebody hold it, but uh, nobody in my family uh, volunteered. So. Um, so basically just got it set up like that and I'll just go over um, how we set up the pitch and roll. Okay, I had to have the uh, motors running um, to do this. For some reason or other, the gimbal won't activate until unless the motor's running. So you can see I've got the uh, it set up and I put a level on the um, on the roll with the ruler and so when I tilt it the helicopter you can see with the roll compensating with the servos. Tilt it back and forth and the level stays nice and level. Now the reason um, I have it set up like this on that because you have to change the pitch and roll um, gain settings in the KK2 board and you have to change um, uh, the pitch and roll offset basically to get it so it's flat because you can't change it with the servo trims in the radio because it's all controlled by the computer so um, this is a good setup the other thing obviously your linkage just got to make it close with your linkages on both uh, your roll servo and your pitch servo so uh, that's the roll well, I'll go over the um, pitch now okay now we're just going to go over the uh, pitch offset so as you can see, it's uh, level right now, and as I tilt the helicopter side to side, it stays level as it tilts. And you tilt, and you can see it's down back and forth. What I learned is that having a really smooth servo on these pitch and rolls is really going to make a difference keep your camera from being jittery. But basically that's it. So now I've got this one set up just right. Put it back and forth and it stays level. Pretty cool, huh? And that's it. Okay, I'm going to go over the uh, pitch and roll uh, settings for the camera stabilization in the KK2 computer here. Okay, hit menu, camera stab settings, enter. Okay, so we got roll gain, roll offset, pitch gain, and pitch offset. So what roll gain does is, as the helicopter moves back and forth, from side to side, the computer is going to send a signal to the servo telling it how much to move to, to try to keep the helicopter stable. Basically, the higher the gain, the more it will make the servo move. So if you put your level on there and you tilt it, and it's going off level in the same direction as you're tilting it, then you need more roll gain. That's as simple as it gets. So you just crank your roll gain up and down so that when you tilt it back and forth, the ruler stays nice and level like it did um, in the demonstration I made. So that's roll gain. It's the same thing for pitch gain. You just flip it around in the opposite direction, you, you, you tilt it forward and backward, and that changes your, your pitch gain settings. Now for your roll, and uh, pitch offsets first of all what you do is you set up your your gimbal to as level as possible um, with your servos using your linkages and your servo horns now you're not going to be able to get it perfect because you can't trim it out with your radio because the servo is getting its all its signals from the kk2 computer so you get it as close to perfect as you can and then you make small changes with the roll and pitch offsets so Let's say, for instance, the, um, let's go down here next. Got a plane going overhead here. Let's go down to next. We'll go to offset, roll, a roll offset. We're going to change. We'll go down, 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 down. I'll crank it down to 40. Done. Back. Back. Now watch the ruler move. It'll probably go up on this side. See, it goes up on this side because I changed the roll offset. So that's how I'm going to make uh, small changes to the, the 
to make sure that the camera is nice and level when I'm flying uh, as long as the helicopter started off level when it when it took off okay so so now to go back I hit menu camera stab settings enter next down change I'm gonna crank that back up to 53 which is what I had it set at done now watch it change again boom good there you go that's it that's basically the offset so the same thing with with pitch and roll basically you're just gonna make your is, is, get it as perfect as possible with your linkages and then make small changes with your offsets.